Alright, so this is what's up, Virginia. I heard y'all got a real spicy lady who's actually looking to be in politics. Yeah, this woman's going from nurse to adult film star. Actually, she's not really a star, but they're making her one. But before we get into that, go to my Twitter. My Twitter is where you will see the video that I'm going to be referencing in this video. You may find an article, you'll definitely see a video. Now, I'm not going to put the actual video of <laughs> what we're going to talk about because, um, nah, we ain't going that route. But uh, it ain't hard to find. But before we get into that, like I say, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And let's get into it. So, Susanna Gibson, this woman professionally, she is a, a licensed nurse, nurse practitioner. So she's a, she's a medical professional, highly educated. Her husband, John David Gibson, he's an attorney. Well, apparently she's now trying to become in politics, right? She's going for the house. She's going to be in Washington, D.C. if she wins. Now, in time past, allegations like this will probably ruin those opportunities. But we're in a new day and time where this kind of stuff is acceptable. Where did, what am I talking about? Cam girl. Yeah. You give a donation and Susanna Gibson and her husband John, they'll do certain things. I'm talking about uh, throating, deep throating, all types of penetration we're not gonna really get much more detailed than that but the videos they're real and the thing that I got a problem with about all this is not that they did it were they hurting for money you got an attorney and you got a licensed nurse practitioner both of them making well over a hundred thousand dollars I'm sure probably even more they doing this for money I'm thinking they doing this because they just enjoy what they do now, they got two kids so clearly you know this is not impacting um, the public's opinion of their family if you ask me but if you ask them they're saying that Republican uh, the Republicans are trying to take away her rights by posting all of these images and these videos um, it's almost like revenge porn how is this revenge porn when you were paying well people were paying you to do things somebody would tip and you would do no that's not the case here that's not the case here um, if you saw the video let me know your thoughts <laughs> man you can't make this stuff up this woman and her husband yeah um, if they had on anything, they probably had on socks. But I'm not sure if they had on socks. I didn't see. I didn't see socks. Maybe they had socks in the drawer or something like that. But as far as uh, birthday suits, they definitely was wearing it. Um, yeah, they were definitely wearing birthday suits. And she got an attorney and basically lowered up, claiming that she's going to get back at the people who are revenge porn bombing her right come on the attorney already know what time it is he's like hey um this might not even affect her but she's paying me he didn't say this these are my words she's paying me yeah we'll definitely see what we can do <laughs> hey well at least she's uh not camera shot. <laughs> hey, imagine the things she's gonna do for the citizens of uh, Virginia. You guys are lucky over there in Virginia. You know what I mean? Think about those campaign ads. You might as well just start like, just, I don't think this is like a, is this an ethical violation by doing something with your significant other on camera? Is there any issues with this? Because if there's no issues with it, why don't you just take it all away? It's like you might as well do uh, 
OnlyFans, you might as well, you know, do big time uh, adult filmmaking. You might as well use this to catapult your cam girl career because people shouldn't have to uh, search all over the place to be able to find the video, especially if uh, you didn't clearly have any shame when you recorded it. But now you're claiming that people have taken your video and your images and posted them all over social media and online? No, they ain't take them. They were on a website that you didn't even have to pay a membership for. You can literally just log in there and watch. You tipped if you wanted a trick. It was almost like, it's almost like if you got a pet, you want to see them roll over. You know, you give them a treat. Or you give them a tip and they doing it. And uh, all signs says that she just got a new audience. She also has new nationwide publicity. There's a good chance that there may be more to come. But from everything I see, it looks like she actually stopped prior to getting in the race. But that was before her, her notoriety catapulted. So we have to wait and see. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you thought. Did you see the video? If you did, get in the comments down below. <laughs> like the video. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Definitely subscribe to the channel. Stay tapped in. More content coming out soon. Until next time.